Hello everyone, this is Chanel from Outdoor Adventures again and today we will be doing some beach crafting and what we'll be making today is wind chimes. So last time we did um, beach combing and we found some lovely shells as we found on the beach and we're going to be using them towards our craft. So the uh, supplies I have today is a driftwood that we found on the beach. Um, it doesn't have to be this big, it can even be cut in half and be a small, big, however way you want it. We also have some fishing line that we're gonna be using to hold on for our shells that will be hanged on to the driftwood. We have some rope that's gonna be holding our wind chime up. And we got some scissors so that we can be able to cut the stuff in whatever way, shape, form you wanna cut it. Um, some of these already have holes in them, but if, if it doesn't have any holes, that's okay. It's not perfect, but you can just drill your own little hole into them. But it just, it's your own little creation. It's whatever you want to do with it. Okay, so now let's begin. What we're going to be doing first is going to be tying the line around the driftwood. So I like to go over it twice. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you make it into, you tie it and make it into a little knot. I like to make two knots just to know that it is secure. So once you're done with all your string um, and tying it, so what I did was I wrapped it up around the driftwood twice and then I tied it into two knots. Some of them were getting a little bit loose so I did it into a third knot just to make it secure. And then, now what we're gonna do is we're going to get our seashells. Um, I like to do patterns, so I'm gonna do a three, four, three, four pattern. You can do whatever you want with them. Um, that is just my own opinion. Um, so let's start putting seashells on the string. So how you're gonna do this is you're gonna put the string, you're gonna flip the shell upside down and you're gonna put the string right through the hole. And you can put it as far. I usually like to put it four fingers so it gives it a nice little gap between the driftwood and the seashell so it's not just banging it against the wood. And you just tie it the same way you tied the first knots. And like I said, I like to do a double knot just to make sure that it is secure and not falling out. And then we're just going to continue it on on all the other strings. Originally I didn't go with my plan. You know what, things happen, it's okay. I just did um, two on each line, which it's okay if you want to add more, you can use the string. You could, put, you could go right through the hole and you could tie another. And you could add more to it. So if you feel like it was just too short, you can just extend it and make it longer. Looking good and it's making sounds so that's a plus <laughs> next step what we're going to do is we're going to use the rope and we're going to tie knots around the driftwood and so make a little loop so we could be able to hang it up so what you're going to do is you're going to find the two ends of the rope it could be whichever rope you want i'm just going to use this one for now and you put it together and it's going to make that little loop up here Okay, once you have it together, you get to the loop. What you're gonna do is you're gonna tie it around. And put the loop right through. Right. So. so depending on your driftwood, um, you can tie it on whichever way you can to secure it. 
So with mine, since it's in an A shape, I'm gonna tie it like this. So since we have our little knot right here, we're gonna take both strings. I wanna stick it through the loop. Make sure it's tight and secure. Then you're gonna use both the strings and you're gonna tie it in a knot. After you're done tying your knots, what we're gonna do now is going to do a cleanup. So you just cut your string and just all the excess stuff that's just hanging around out here so you can make it look all pretty. So after you're done just doing your cleanup, then your wind chimes are all done. All from the beach, from our local beaches, you could just make this at home. So stay tuned next time and we'll see what will our next adventure be.